Are you ready for castanets? Let's get them out. And let me change the... Uh, okay. Let me change the, the place of the computer. Just grab a bit of water. Have you... Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, oh God. Uh, have you been finding that there's any um, any change in the way that you've been playing castanets or what what do you think guys is that can you see that your sound is improving a bit or it's kind of you feel that it's getting worse before it gets better or am i introducing to me Concept. It still doesn't fit, it doesn't sound like Ria. Ria, okay. It doesn't, it doesn't. I know. That's part of the process. Okay, so it's just the beginning. Is that's why uh, to get a clear Ria, if I'm honest, it takes a while. So what you need to focus is to get a clear RIA and I promise you from one day to another, suddenly out of the blue, it will, it will happen. It will make sense. But the, the thing is that if you try to go for the RIA straight away all the time, it won't happen ever. So is that, that's why we're just uh, oh, sorry, trying to put the castanets. Uh, we're focusing so much in this about the independency of the singer, okay, because oh, don't you feel like your ria is not, someone has, I think, just that uh, your ria is not happening altogether, it will happen if it happens separately, okay, so when we work on the one, two, three, four, five, which is your ria, but decomposed, and then when we do all the exercises, the one, two, one, two, the two, the four, also composed, they will eventually to a yeah. So it's just that uh, uh, that takes a while. So what I want to uh, reassure you is this part is in the beginning, it sounds like oh uh, this is not that my ria is not or my carretilla because it will take a while. Yeah. So really focus on the side that you are really working on this so many exercises will lead you to the RIA eventually. And I promise from one day to the other suddenly you feel like you are a bit stuck like oh, first I'm just doing this and this and this and it's the same. But then you will kind of click and you start listening to a to a RIA be much clearer. It's about the proper exercise and the technique to lead to the react. That makes sense. I want to clarify this because sometimes custom technique and place things discouraging. You don't hear straight away what you want to hear. It's not like when I'm clapping, I do a clap, it's a clap. Okay, if I do like this is something. But the castanets, I say ria, and the ria is not coming. That's what happens all the time. It's the normal process, okay? So that's why we work on the exercises, just to make it happen. But don't focus on, on the ria or on the carretil. Focus on so many other parts of your castanet. Look how cute that is. Okay? Does the have to land in the center, or can it land at the edge? To do the ria, yeah. Normally, here is is where really where the length of your finger goes. So I'm not trying to go super far. Right? I'm not stretching my finger. I'm doing it where not. I have a strength. So, so for me, kind of in a third, let's say a third of the customer. Uh, you need to find the place where it's comfortable for you, where you can just make uh, uh, 
if you want to go too far away, it won't happen. If you go to really small, you will only do it with the um, the tip of your nail. Okay, so it's just kind of in the middle. You are doing it with this part of the finger, not only with your nails. Okay, if that makes sense. Any other question, guys? Because this class is smaller, people we can. Uh, uh, so, okay, so I'm just going to mute you now, just for a second. Okay, there we go. So I've got, I'm going to change the view. Good. Okay. So I'll start with the tappy, 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 tappy. Okay, so uh, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. You just try to find from this beginning the place where you feel comfortable with your finger playing the castanets. Okay, so not too far, not too close. So just kind of this middle ish, one third of the castanet, but really depends on the size of your castanet and on the length of your fingers. Okay. Okay, let's just carry on with the pita pita, but now with each finger. Pita, e two, e three, e four, e five, e six, e seven, e eight. Each finger, independency. Four, five, six. Seven and eight, carry on, and two, and six, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Now, pipita, okay, so right, right, left, 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 double single, double single. Single, double, 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 P P seven, P P eight, same with each finger. Each finger. P P one, P P two, P P three, P P four, P P five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. P one, P two, P. I'm changing three and four. And five and six and seven and eight double one two three four. I'm combining both seven and back to one and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and double one two three four five. Seven back to single and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and double one two three four five seven eight good okay so this is the la pulsación the I don't know the the, the, the pulse pulsation I don't know if I'm making up the <laughs> words in English. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, but um, yeah. So just the 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 uh, the post, the pop pop pop, the golpe, the tapi tapi. Okay, now we're going to start just uh, doing the uh, preparing for the carretilla, the ria. So I want to remind you about the last class. I think we work on that. So a carretilla with three fingers only. Okay. So first one two three, one two three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so first it's gonna be separately, then try to do the ria. So one, two, three, one, two, three, 
One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, second and third. Okay, so these two fingers. Second and third. Second, third. E. Second, third. E. Second, third. E. Second, third. E. So, let's call it the mini react. So just with three fingers. Three, pa, pa, pa. Second, third, E. Second, third, E. Second, third, E. Ready? Now it's gonna be third and fourth. So these two fingers, the easiest one. Three, four, E. 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 Okay, good. So now let's combine it. It's, uh, so we're just going to do eight of each and then we'll repeat just doing the ria, okay? But for now, it's just the, the pose again. One, two, three. One, two, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, change. One, two, three. Seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now only four. E one, two, three, change. One, two, three, change. Three and four, three and four, three and four. Change again. Now only two. One and two. One and change, one and two, one and change, one and two, one and change. Now only one, one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. Okay, make sense? So the whole thing is just uh, the same routine, but just repeating with each, each finger eight times, then four, then two, then one. Okay, good. So we're just going to do it one last time. And I'll say just change, just to help you, but try to keep track yourselves because that is a good uh, thing for coordination. Are you ready? E, A, one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and change. Three, four, five, six, seven, change. One, Five. It's gonna be just only four and one and two and three and change and one and two and three and change and one and two and three and change and only two one and change and one and change and one and only one and change and change and change. Carry on, carry on with this one. One, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. One, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. One, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. One, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. Sorry, I messed up the last one. Okay. Uh, now we're just gonna do it just one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so all together, separately and then all together. So this one is challenging for the coordination. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. You see? This is the separation of the finger. Then they will give you the one, two, three, four, five. Super clear. One, two, three. 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 Just 
one thing that good, good. That's not easy. One thing that I want to clarify, especially when you if you are uh, more of a beginner or beginner improver, be careful because I know I'm playing like that all the time. So it's easy maybe to get confused that uh, I'm doing this like this because it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. But don't get used to play castanets like this, okay? Because then later on, especially when you are uh, not super proficient, it will get to the point where you cannot play castanets unless you are in this position, and this is not correct, okay? So you need to keep trying to, uh, to, to try to keep this position. So it's the position where it's like you have a mirror in your hands and you're looking at yourself in the mirror all the time, okay? So don't get used to play castanets like this, inside, okay, inside. So this is the position you, you need to keep. If you want to relax, it's okay, relax your, uh, your elbows, but don't go for this position, okay? Don't get uh, tricked by me doing it like this because this is not uh, this is not correct and it's not gonna help you. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to tell you, to remind you, just in case, because as I'm doing it all the time, it's easy to get to this moment like, okay, we're playing castanets like this. No, okay. So uh, let's go for the ria, ria, pita. Good, okay, so let's go straight away with the one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, right, left. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, 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 left. Okay, so you see that here now you're listening to that separation of the five fingers, so the four fingers from the right and the fifth from the from the left. So now we're gonna do. I don't know if it's gonna be um, easy to see because of the speed of the connection, but we're going to do just ria ria pita ria 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 ria. Okay, so kind of a carretilla. So the difference uh, with the carretilla is that the carretilla is only ria, 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 ria all the time. There's no ria, ria, pita. Okay, so the exercise is going to be ria, ria, pita, ria, 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 ria. So four times carretilla. Yeah, I don't know how good it will be with the speed of the connection, but I'll do it so you can see. Ria, ria, pita. Four together, yeah, for the carretilla. Try to do it as as super as uh, as sharp as you can. Okay, so the ria is really close. It's really like like scratching the castanet. So the difference between the you see that I'm spreading the fingers a lot. Now the four ria is more uh, contained, like more really scratching the castanet. Okay, good. Are you ready? So e. Sorry. Oh, it's Hi, you're just connecting now. Okay. Yes, sorry. I found your email just now. Okay, don't worry. Don't sorry worry. about it. I'm, you're recording it anyway, isn't it? Yeah, yes. I am. Yeah. Sorry. sorry about it, okay? That's okay, don't worry. I just, I just start from here now, yeah? Yes, yeah. I just put you on mute so the camera doesn't switch all the time. There you go. Welcome, welcome to the class. Okay, good. Okay, great. So, where am I? Uh, like here, I can only see Luisa now. <laughs> Let me see if I can get back to the. Okay, let's take a view. Oh, I can only see Luisa now. Can you? Okay, I think there we go. Okay. So we were in the one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so ria, ria, pita, ria, 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 ria. Once again, there you go. E, one, two, three, four, five. Pita, ria, 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 ria. Ria, 
Okay, so now we're gonna do, we're gonna double the carretilla. So we're gonna do ria, ria, pita. We're gonna do eight carretillas, okay? So ria, 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 ria. Good, so we're just building up the, the strength and the, the speed. And go for it, go really for the So like if they were all together, okay? You ready? So I'm just gonna go, we're gonna just go, just go as fast as you can, okay? I'll do the same, I don't know how it's gonna be with the connection, okay? Let's go. E. One e. Okay, good. I don't know how it goes. It's just uh, with the connection can be a bit choppy, like uh, uh, so. I really don't know how you listen to my castanets, but the exercise is just ria, ria, pita. One, two, three, four, and in these four times, you just go for the carretilla as much as you can. <laughs> okay, good. So we're just gonna combine with the chin pita before we get uh, to the end of the class. So chin pita, chin right left, chin right left, chin right left, chin pita, chin pita, chin pita, chin pita. Okay, and now we're gonna combine this with chin pipita, chin pipita. So chin double with the right. Left, chin, double with the right, left, chin, double with the right, left. Okay, so chin, pi, pi, ta, 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 chin, pi, ta, chin, pi, pi, ta. Good, so let's go back to the single one. And uh, we're gonna do four. First one is gonna be in the castanet. Second one is gonna be here in the forearm. Third one is gonna be in the shoulder. Fourth, back to the four, forearm. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Chin, pi, pi, ta. Chin, pi, pi, ta. Chin, pi, pi, ta. Chin, pi, pi, ta. Good, so the first part, we move it around, so hand, forearm, shoulder, forearm. The second part, we focus more in the pipita. So uh, we stay in the hand and then chin, pipita, chin, pipita, chin, pipita, chin, pipita. Got it? So two parts of the exercise, chin, pita, moving around, and chin, pipita, staying in place. Okay, ready? Seven. And a e chin pita 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 back to the single three four chin pita chin pita chin pita chin pita once again chin to finish the class with a bit of a challenge so the chin pita <coughs> i'm gonna separate and we're gonna do it in the hip okay 
Okay, so. Good, so the last one is gonna be in the hip. So here, you probably need to, if you are seated, you will need to stand because it's just, I hope you can see it, okay? So this is just what I'm doing. And I'm using my hip at the same time to click in my castanet. Okay, so it's gonna be same exercise, but the last uh, one is going to be just in the hip, okay? So, chin tita, chin tita, chin tita, chin tita. Yeah, good. So, first hand, second forearm, third uh, shoulder, fourth hip. Okay, good. You ready? Let's do this part. E. Was it good with a hip? Okay, good. This one is actually quite good when you're just doing just something a bit more in when you use castanets in flamenco and then you're using much more your hip against the castanet. So if you practice, practice that one, it will give you a lot of uh, room to play. Okay, and then we'll uh, uh, we'll carry on practicing uh, this one in the next class because it's actually quite uh, quite nice then later to combine it when you're dancing okay so good to see you sorry Luisa that you got the, the email late <laughs> but don't worry we'll be here on Thursday as well so if you can make it uh, we'll see you here in the customer class or otherwise I'll see you in the other classes on Thursday or on Tuesday so plenty of options and so I will just put the gallery to say, there you go. So bye. Thank you so much, guys. And yes, yeah, send me any comments, any feedback on the group, on Facebook, the Open Flamenco Project, or YouTube, or email, uh, any feedback or thoughts, or just say hello. Uh, would be really appreciated. Thank you for tuning in. And yeah, have a lovely rest of your evening. Love to you all. Stay safe. Bye, guys.